What's up, Capricorns? What's good? Welcome to Ocean Story Garden. How are you guys feeling? Today we're going to share about what's the energy going to be like in the month of May for you guys. Please make sure to feed the channel. It's free. You can feed the channel by like, comment, and subscribing. Okay. It's free and it helps the channel grow. So let's see what we have here for my Capricorns for the month of May. What's the energy going to be like? Oh my gosh. Not the Nine of Swords. Okay. Oh. I'm feeling illness. A lot of health issues here. Um, mm. Something happening fast. Okay, I feel like a discovery is happening fast. Maybe. Somebody could be having a near-death experience in May. With this Five of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Hospital. There could be a woman here with the Five of Pentacles that's having to go into a place of recovery. If this is not you, this could be somebody close to you. I'm hearing like addiction, health issues or something. Somebody's going in for um, hospitalization. This Knight of Wands is making me feel like an ambulance. Somebody's having like a near-death experience, overdosing on something here. Um, somebody getting a call in the middle of the night. It's something scary. And I'm hearing spirits say, like, we warned you. We tried to warn you, but you didn't listen. You haven't been listening for the past three months. Somebody has like a clogged artery. The flow of something is becoming backed up, Capricorn. Okay. I'm feeling like some health issues here. Okay. I feel like you guys are overworking yourselves. Yeah, you have a businesswoman never at home. Somebody is working too much. Stressed out. Um they're saying that it's time for you to recover. Like, you need to recover your energy. The month of May is asking for the Capricorns to rest and to be still. Okay. There's somebody pregnant here. You're going to be put on bed rest. And my condolences, because I'm also feeling like there's going to be a miscarriage here. Um, they want you to slow down. Like, once again, they're warning you. It's like they keep trying to tell you to slow down, but you're you're trying to control everything around you, or it's like you're trying to get up and move too fast for something, and it, it's not it's it's not gonna end well. Okay. There could also be an abusive situation here that's going on. Like I said, somebody has a drug addiction, and they can try they can get physical here. Okay, try to harm you. Like somebody's like choking somebody till they pass out. Like somebody's like trying to do, like somebody feels like they're gonna die. I don't know what it is, but somebody is really gonna be fearing for their life in May. And I feel like this is a domestic partnership here. Somebody doesn't wanna separate. You could be thinking about separating for somebody and somebody doesn't wanna separate. And if this is not you Capricorn, this is somebody that is very, very close to you um like pay attention to them okay like pay attention to them um i'm also feeling like even outside of the domestic situation here where somebody is getting too intoxicated or too up on whatever they do and then you know they start feeling like somebody cheating or somebody trying to leave them and you know how people get when they get on them drugs or they start you know they get drunk and they be like, you cheating on me, you don't want me no more. And then they start tripping and they and like somebody might start fearing for their life or things can get physical here. I'm also feeling like somebody is thinking about taking their own life, Capricorn. I don't feel like it's you. I feel like it's somebody that's close to you. I'm feeling like a heavy depression. Okay, this person can be heavily like on drugs or something here. 
um i'm feeling like a heavy depression energy like a very dark energy is entering the chat right now okay uh something is telling me um some kind of physical feature here um mm, like they can have some kind of maybe the way they blink because i'm starting to blink hard um maybe they blink like really really hard this person can have like autism or something um I feel like they can have like a disfigurement feature on their face here. Um, somebody is tired of uh, being alone. Somebody's tired of being picked on here. So this could be like a teenager, a child or something who may try to take their own life. Um, mental health here. Um, there's going to be a lot of trauma that's going on. Somebody is mentally not, yeah. So I want to tell you to watch the people around you. Okay, especially your children, because somebody's child is going through a lot, and I feel like they could be trying to take their own life, okay? Um, it's just giving a lot of dark, sad energy. So make sure you're paying attention to um, their actions, their, you know, their movements. How are they? You know, because when you know your child, you notice, like, small little things about them that can tell you that, um, you know, something isn't right. Okay. Notice notice that there's something different in the everyday pattern. Okay. Now there's somebody here who still wanna be with you. If you're my single Virgo, somebody wants to come back around. Um they wanna make it work. Somebody's coming in with a ring and an apology. Okay, this is could be somebody that you separated from like between two to three weeks ago, okay? I don't feel like this is a long time ago person. This is someone that you kind of see uh, separated from. It could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius here. Okay. And for some reason, I'm also feeling like this I still want you doesn't necessarily have to be somebody from that you separated from. But I'm also feeling like whoever this woman is that I'm getting this heavy miscarriage energy you may feel unworthy or you may get news that you can't bear a child anymore and you may feel like your person doesn't want to be with you or is going to leave you and that's why they're like i still want you like and then they're going to top that by proposing to you here okay and it's like don't get caught up in your mind because this person with this self-reflection this person is going to try to to uh show you who you are um what what did uh he say um when you're in a crossfire so I can come and shield you. I wanna be a mirror so you can, uh, when you look at me, I can show you that you're still you. Let me see if I can find these lyrics because I wanna say this verbatim because I feel like, Okay, so this is West Side Boogie, and I'm going to read you the lyrics here. Um, but I will do is help you unlearn things so I could then rebuild you, or when you're in the crossfire, no, I can come and shield you, or I could be your mirror just so you can know you still you. So I could be a mirror just so you can know you still you. Somebody wants to reflect what you are to them, right? So when you feel like this person is going to leave you or doesn't want you, they're going to show you through their actions, through their love, through their vulnerability, you know, that you, that you're worthy. Okay. So this is what you won't do, do for love. You try everything and you don't give up what you won't do. Do for love. You tried everything and you don't give up. So yeah, that's what I'm feeling here. Okay. But with this self-reflection, I see the chakras. For some reason, I feel like after this miscarriage for somebody here, um, it's going to strengthen the relationship. 
that's why this love is coming out. You're going to realize that this is your person that you're compatible with, that this is somebody that you want to do the rest of life with here as well in May. It's going to be like one of those trying times that's going to help rebuild you. You're going to see that you're dealing with somebody of high honor. Um, somebody, look at this, marriage is coming out. Great fortune is coming out. So there's a lot of fulfillment that's coming in. Even though you may have this moment that, you know, comes in and darkens, just know that there's still joy after the rain. Um, somebody could be getting a new home here. Somebody could finally be getting their real estate license, new car as well. Somebody could be um, going on a trip, okay? Somebody could be moving in with somebody here. Yeah. Somebody's getting a very large car, spacious car, SUV, or getting a very large home. Somebody's coming into some money here. It's gonna be a woman, okay? You're gonna have some good luck here, a bonus or something's coming in for you so that you can purchase these things. Maybe somebody's winning the lottery here, all right? But yeah, it, it's great. But take care of your health in the month of May, all right?